。进入到二十一世纪之后，技术创新人才就应该以什么样的方式来培养？已经存在的这些大学，受制于啊相对固化的学科界限，对于学科的交叉，对于面向前沿的创新，显得有点束手无策。在这样一个背景底下，两个大湾区的一批有识之士结合起来，并得到了深圳市政府的高度的关注和支持，于是成立了清华伯克利深圳学院。Shenzhen, an innovative city, the Greater Bay Area, a vibrant region, Tsinghua and UC Berkeley, two great universities, will make TBSI a unique educational and research institute. TBSI was established with a goal and mission to build a bridge between two universities, Tsinghua University and UC Berkeley. All of our PhD students are required to spend one year to two years uh, at UC Berkeley to work in professors' laboratories in collaboration with their advisor, Tsinghua professors in Shenzhen. The vision and mission of TBSI to resolve some different problems for special industrial application in Shenzhen. At TBSI, we challenge ourselves to develop the most innovative international programs in China. We have a number of labs and institutions. An overall feature is transdisciplinarity. The TBSI um, requires that uh, professors from UC Berkeley spend time in Shenzhen to teach and to mentor the graduate students and also to collaborate with Tsinghua University professors and with the TBSI core faculty. Over time, they have developed international awareness and multicultural competency. TBSI most attracts to me is disciplinary program. We have excellent devices and equipment to support our daily research. I can easily move from one lab to another and uh, ask for help or help other students with their research. I realized that it was a collaboration between two big universities, Tsinghua and Berkeley, so that was what was very appealing to me. We focused on the controlled growth and the mass production of various advanced low dimensional materials and the use of these materials for electronics, optical electronics, sensors and catalysis. One of the typical research projects in our lab is the planning and operation of integrated energy systems for the industry park. Our center has made use of cutting edge data science and information technology across systems and devices. The main research goal of Nano Device Laboratory is to investigate the normal optoelectronic effects in micro and nano photonic structures. Precision medicine is a novel and innovative approach to healthcare delivery. We are better able to maximize therapeutic benefit and also to minimize risk. We are looking on the female reproductive related cancers. We have the lead candidates which are in combination with the current drugs in the clinic. Well, I appreciate fully the quality of those two uh, universities merged together, trying to bring this academic expertise into the greater Bay Area. I'm excited to see about uh, bringing that same cultural value to Asia via TBSI uh, to impact industry in a positive way, to accelerate uh, information technology. Now with TBSI, we'll further support that and also this thinking out of the box. My life with TBSI has both been exciting and challenging. I'm um, wanting to connect with people from different walks of life. We set out the goal to connect different disciplines between science, engineering, business and entrepreneurship. TBSI welcomes students, researchers, practitioners and managers from all over the world. Join us. Together, we will create a new era of innovative research and education.